Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing crescent moon under the astrological sign of Leo. This is a new moon reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Holy Spirit. Thank you. That's a lot. We're going to take the bottom card, Scorpio. A delay is not a no. Continue to be productive. Waxing gibbous moon in Taurus. So things could be slow or non-existent even. Hmm. Making you feel like it's never going to come. You know, when am I going to receive... I feel like you are working towards something, working on something, and Spirit wants you to know that he sees your productivity and that you should continue forward. And I guess the question is, well, how much further do I have to go? Excuse me, my cards were crazy. I just needed to get to the water for a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pull some other cards out. All right, Scorpio. Continue to be productive through a delay. Things not moving at all. Sometimes when things aren't moving at all, as far as we can see behind the scenes, spirit is doing something. That's why a delay is not a no. Because something is going on, you may not be aware of it. Scorpio, it's, it's hidden. You're the sign of secrets and hidden. But you hate it when something is held in secret from you, or hidden from you. Tell me what's going on, Spirit. Holy Spirit, ain't for God's. Oof. You come right out. First card, death card. Major Arcana. Something's ending. Hmm. Or you feel like it's ending or it's taking so long to transform. When is this new beginning going to get here? Well, this is the new moon in Cancer. Could have something to do with your domestic situation. With you being at a cross world roads where love is concerned. Tell me more, Spirit, current energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guides, what is the new moon in Cancer? Message for Scorpio. Wow. Look what happens. Look what's on the verge of coming in. It's amazing. Yes, you definitely want to continue to be productive concerning love, concerning getting back in touch with what you love to do, preparing for something new that's coming in with the Four of Wands, a relationship. So I see you transform, do the, some work on you, think about what you want to do. The Two of Swords is, of Wands is kind of pondering over what you want to do, seeing that the road up ahead goes far into the distance to a point you can't even see what's ahead of you. And that's where faith comes in. This is all about having the faith to move forward on the chariot. Hmm. You could be traveling. Some of you are looking for a new car. Maybe through travels. Because you're vibrating high. You're vibrating high, Scorpio. Right. I, I believe there was some void or energy that you felt was kind of dead. Things weren't moving at the pace you thought they should have. But that gave you more time to set your vision, to envision where you wanted this to lead. 
opening your heart water that's your element getting back in touch with yourself really defining the ten of cups you know we all say we want to be happy but you need an interpretation of happiness I see that it changed it changed and it's bringing in something new there will be a decision financially okay or when to begin to invest more right you have three major arcanas the death card an ending transformation and something new beginning under this new moon and it starts with you this is travel, travel leading to something else, but really in your mindset, preparing it to move towards what you envision. The chariot is about the location, the destination being set, and the destination is very important, not just movement with the chariot, it's also where you're moving to, who you're moving towards, right? It's also when the chariot shows up, it's in movement toward your purpose and what you're fated and destined to do. Whenever God shows up, it's for the purpose that you came, that you signed up for, your soul contract. Spiritually, your perspective has changed. So I do feel that Something may have been put on delay or you're feeling a void so that God could give you more time to develop your definition of love by focusing on you <clears throat> and then your ability to attract what you want <clears throat> in a relationship. Now that your perspective has changed, I think you're making a decision that you want to invest again in the future. Right. And the Queen or King of Pentacles is all about investment, investment of time, resources, their energy. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can qualify before I go on. Hmm. Scorpio, new moon in Cancer. Definitely has something to do with your home life, children, family, your spouse. Okay, your happiness, your forward movement, a car, traveling, an investment. So we have the Queen of Pentacles qualifying death. Yeah, being more resourceful, right? Or making sure that you get the return that you want on your investment, right? Spirit is, and your angel guides, your spirit guides, they're assisting you in getting what you want by maybe causing a delay, causing there to be a void so that you can focus on yourself more and define love. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups, more Scorpion energy. And the Ace of Cups always starts with self-love, us loving us, preparing for the type of love that we want. Oh, this time you're going to be successful yeah, you may not know the answer, but you do know the direction and it's leading right to success. Some of you are going to be in the public eye with the Six of Wands. You're getting recognition. Some of you, it's public recognition. Scorpio, tell me what you're doing. You're making progress. That's what you're doing. Your confidence is high. Mm. And you're lifting your vibration. And, you know, it's not that we wait. It is our energy that's exhibited while we wait. And right now, even though you're waiting and you're transforming, 
you're at a high energy level with the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Look how you're transforming. So that's what I was saying. Maybe to you it looks like there's a void, but behind the scenes, all of this energy is like converging to elevate you where love is concerned, you're definitely moving forward towards your destiny. And the the hangman is reverse, qualifying the Ten of Cups. So in the past, you may not have really defined uh, the Ten of Cups when it comes to love, something that you love, someone that you love, you know, just someone that makes me happy. No, that is not good enough. Um, he wanted you to go deeper in terms of characteristics, morals, values, um, finances. Mm. Yes, you have to be more specific and see the high priestess is at the center, clarifying the chariot, mm, listening to your intuition in terms of how you move, how quickly you move, in what direction you move. Very important at this time under this new moon, because you're definitely experience the energy of a buck moon. I feel like you're in search of love. And the buck moon is about a deer growing antlers. And the antlers are what attracts a mate. So you are going through the same type of transformation. <laughs> Absolutely. Scorpio. Yes. And spirit is here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have the chariot reverse qualifying the four of wands. Mm. Because uh, up ahead, there could be uh, a lack of direction. Like I said, I don't know, but I know spirit is here clarifying things with you. You should be talking to your angel guides, your spirit guides, inviting them in so that you both are on the same page. There needs to be some clarity because where somebody thought there was direction or control or somebody was sure, something happens in a relationship that changes spirit's perception of what happened. Why? Because the chariot is reversed on the four of wands. This is current energy. Stay with me. You have the ten of cups clarified by the hangman reverse, right? Not changing your perspective or staying with the same definition of the ten of cups, which was not a definition at all, I'm told. You have to be deliberate, intentional when it comes to love. Really know what you're asking for because whatever you're asking for is what you got to be prepared to bring to the relationship. The high priestess is listening to your intuition in terms of what direction you should go in, you should move in. Mm. Yeah, you could feel some repercussions of not listening to your intuition when it comes to a domestic situation under this new moon in Cancer. The Four of Wands is clarified by the Chariot Reverse, right? Where you experience lack, usually in direction and control, confidence. Something happens that stops this movement, current energy. That's why the High Priestess is here at the center from the very beginning, when things started to transform, your intuition has been there for you. Mm. And you know, your intuition speaks to you when there is a void, when there is no activity. But only if you have that communication open, that open line of communication, be aware of that, something to focus on. 
your angel guides, your spirit guides can really not do anything to interfere in your life or even communicate, recommend, steer you, guide you unless you allow them. When the chariot reverse, um, there's a lack uh, surrounding yourself. And you've been doing a lot of work on self, transforming, preparing for love, getting your heart together, right? I do use, see you making a decision to of uh, swords so clarified by the Knight of Cups. A romantic decision, right? You are using your imagination, um, recognizing the beautiful attributes you want in a partner based on examining your own attributes. Yes, and you're following your heart. You are following your heart, and that's exactly what the King of Cups does. He follows his heart. Mm. And once you do that, look, Two of Cups appears. <laughs> it appears. Once you let your heart take the lead, things start to materialize again. I, I believe the, the chariot starts to move forward because it's your perspective, your mindset that really changes, right? You decide to do X, Y, and Z instead of A, B, C. And once that mindset changes, your perspective changes and you become inquisitive. Things start to open up. New ideas, curiosity, creativity, um, just wanting more, a thirst for knowledge. You're kind of restless. You just are into action. The Page of Swords is you know, unbridled inquisitiveness. I, I really love that. It's like avoiding, avoiding any more negativity. It's like you learned the lesson. You don't have to repeat it again with the Ten of Swords. You've already had your perspective changed. Mm -hmm. Look at this. See, in the end, you're going to be happy. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more right now about love, since clearly that's what we're talking about. Look at this. You're going to be happy. <laughs> Look at this. So you got rejoice deeply, union and trust. Hmm. You are definitely... I would say maybe two weeks out on the route, the road, the direction, headed in the direction towards a loving connection. Mm. Spirit says, remember that you're headed in that direction. Be patient. Also, with delay is not a no. Be patient because... Just like you had to get ready, Scorpio, they have to get ready to meet you, right? Uh, this is what he's telling me to tell you. Page of Swords, you want to know. So you're, you're being told right now everything happens in divine timing, right? And his time is not our time, let me just tell you that. But when it does become the time, you're going to be very happy, you know, this is a deep soul connection. Um, it, it's a connection that helps you achieve your soul purpose. Like you two help each other. Everybody that comes in your life, even the bad, the karmic situations, the karmic people, all work for good to lead you towards what you're destined and fated to do. There's a divine union. Hmm. Mm hmm yeah, <clears throat> and that's where you're being led to. You need to have trust, right? That this relationship is headed your way, that you're headed their way, that your two paths are destined to cross. Yeah, the new moon in Cancer offers you a new family, spouse, domestic situation. Um, it 
afford you the ability to travel, to go from one point to another in your mind though, right? Mind travel to change where you are and to think upon and to set new goals, that GPS, every time you program a new direction, that's a new goal. And so the new moon is bringing in new energy. Even if you can't feel it, even if you can't see it, this is about you having faith and trusting it and still doing what you need to do to prepare for it. Yes, this is the beginning phase, like, like the honeymoon phase, something that's needed before. Mm. But there is a union, a wedding even up ahead with this honeymoon card. Also, I see some of you, it may be a, a destination wedding, like you could ask people to attend your wedding. Um in a remote location, a place they, they have to fly to, you have to fly to. But there is a beginning stage here happening. A cleaning of the slate, um, acknowledging the desire and aspiration to move forward and then taking the steps, listening to your intuition, being guided just helps you get there quicker, less delays, detours. Okay, what else does Scorpio need to know? Spirit. Mm. Well, did you see this card, fell? <laughs> More clarification of what is up ahead, even though you may not see any activity right now. For those of you that are, you know, playing house, right? A commitment could come. A commitment could come under this new moon. Okay. Things do move with the chariot at the center and opening up with the death card. This is all about your life changing. Your life changing. Okay. Could be with a fire sign, but you definitely feel passionate. Um, you're really determined to make something happen. You continue to be productive. And as long as you continue to be productive, it appears. Mm. Somebody's dealing with rejection. And that's because it wasn't the right time. I believe that whatever this ending was, Sphere is making reference to that for some reason. Uh, maybe they rejected you. You had to reject them. It wasn't the right time, the right person, the right play. The answer was no at that time. But Spirit says this time, a delay is not a no. Okay. Just telling you why you got to press on. There's something hidden you can't see, but he's giving you a glimpse here. <laughs> he's giving you a glimpse here. This is a true relationship, something you want to commit to. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and while you're waiting, you may reminisce on this rejection and why it was a no, because there was somebody else behind the scenes. Maybe you didn't even know that, that there was somebody else behind the scenes. That's why it was a hard no. But this is not a no. It's a delay because you may be ready at a certain point and they may be ready at a certain point. But now spirit is aligning <laughs> your paths so that they cross fire. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why that past situation was a no. I don't know where you are. You could just be coming in to this reading, coming out of a relationship that just didn't work. <sighs> Yes, you had to reject them once you found out they were cheating. When you think back on this, you know why that was not a soulmate for you. They were karmic. They were to teach you to reach higher, to value yourself more with this Taurus energy. 
Mm. And this starts with a date. <laughs> when was the last time you went on a date, Scorpio? See how nice that is? You get out of the house. You get a change of scenery. Right away, they come in and they begin to show you something. Yeah, there's fire. There's energy that inspires you both. That's what's propelling you. You're going to find all of this out on your date. As you talk, more is revealed. What else Ooh, does Scorpio need to be aware of under this new moon? Hmm. Oh, you had reminisce here. So spirit is referencing that again. When you continue to reminisce, replay or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold on, hold yourself in a place of resistance. Wow. Okay. That's why this chariot reverse, you have to be especially with the next to the intuition uh your high priestess here right that was brought on because of the resistance um maybe you started to reminisce about the past and the rejection thinking that it may replay itself yeah Yeah, let that was what was, and spirit's trying to inspire a new way of living, a new mindset. Don't allow limited mindset to determine what can be. And so, right, he also has you in a delay or just to let you think about where you were and where you're going. This is all about you getting back in touch with you, the Ace of Cups, um, resetting your vision, resetting your destination, where you're headed, what's going to bring you victory in love and in terms of what you love. Don't hold on to the past, right? You have a new way of living because the past stops you from living in the present. All of this great present energy, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot, the Four of Wands. But you can miss that uh, if you don't release old hurts, worries, reminiscing on old things, replaying that. You know, commit to being in the here and now. Your current energy is wonderful. Forgive yourself where you think you may have been wrong. You deserve inner peace, happiness, and love. Mm. Spirit says, you think you don't have the strength to move on? <laughs> Some of you are stuck, right, with this re chariot reverse. If you think you don't have the strength to move on, think of how much strength it you're using to hold on. It's time to redirect that energy towards something new. You're going to enjoy your life when you do. We're going to summarize this with an angel number for Scorpio, new moon in Cancer. Summarizing this, a delay is not a no. In the past, it was a no. But look what you have in the future. Look what you're moving towards, please. Thank you. I rest my case. Starting over, that's this new moon energy. <laughs> I'm so glad, you know, like the new moon doesn't just last for that day because we would surely miss it, right? But it prepares you, you know, and you have, you know, you're starting over. You're ready for it. You're ready for a yes. Everything gives you the intelligence and the dynamics. Everything is playing with this fire energy right in the manner it's supposed to be, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be involved, making a difference. A difference is here. And how your failures prepared you for personal and spiritual development. Happiness is linked to self-expression. Yeah, with the King of Cups, you're preparing. You're happy and you're preparing your heart. You're emotionally balanced, prepared for this new start. That's why you're feeling happy. 
right? Expressions of growth and experience. Learning from failures is key. Absolutely. Happiness is real and it's possible. It's around. Define the Ten of Cups. Spirit is saying you need to really know what makes you happy, what you're looking for. It helps you to set the correct GPS destination. Mm, yeah, you know where you're headed, what you want. Understanding is a process and then there's the pursuit of what you understood going after it, that movement, setting the direction and then actually programming it in and letting yourself be guided, right? Because you do have the high priestess here. Spirit wants to guide you at this time. Mm. That's the process. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things. And then the big ones appear. Failures can be a learning mechanism to prepare for a fresh start. And every and you may start off and have a little delay, but that doesn't mean it's a no. That's what I've got for you. Scorpio, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, put one-on-one -on -one in the comments. If you got to do something quick, but show me love, helps to keep my videos circulating. I also want to pray for this new start, this new moon under cancer for Scorpio. Spirit says where two or more are joined, he will be in the mist. If you want to pray for this too, join me, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for hanging out with me until the end, Scorpio. Until the next moon phase, namaste.